Marcus Mariota does so many things at the line of scrimmage that helps the Falcons throughout a ball game. Now, the stats always come up. People talk about the numbers, but it's not all about the numbers. One thing you cannot measure when it comes to Marcus Mariota is his toughness. Now, he's going to get a blitzer come right through here, and he's going to get hit dead in the mouth. Now, this is a big-time play here against Tampa Bay because he's going to go, he's going to throw this speed out here to Drake London. Now, it's the big thing about it is it's third down. Third down, crucial down. You're in, almost inside the red zone. The difference between getting points, touchdowns, or field goals. Now, as this play gets started, now here comes here comes this add-on backer here. Mariota knows we are not blocking him. He's outside. He has his man here, and Drake has to work this route. Has to give it time. But watch Mariota standing here and deliver a football with this guy bearing down on him. Now the ball is halfway out, headed to Drake London. It creates a nice play. Ultimately, you pick up the first down. Let's watch it from the backside one more time. Just watch how he stands here. This is the toughness you talk about from the quarterback. This is not stats. This is not nothing you, you, you talk about after. But here is what happens. Look at this. How many people are going to stand in here and deliver this football with Devin White, one of the top linebackers in the league, barreling down on you, standing in there and delivering a strike, first down. Now you move the chains. Your teammates respect you even more for that one. Here's another instance where Marcus Mario is going to stand in here and deliver a strike to OZ here. Another third down play. And what's going to happen up front is the Browns are going to go with a stunt. So this guy's going to come all the way around and have a clean shot right on Marcus. But he has to stand in here and deliver a strike right here to OZ in the middle of the field for a big time completion. Now watch here. Watch him. Look at this guy coming around. Nobody has him. Mariota knows he's got to stand in there. He knows he's got one-on-one -on -one with one of his best receivers to win on the outside. And watch him standing here. Look at that. Another shot with a guy coming barreling right down. Know he's got a win route right here by OZ. And it's another completion. Watch it again from the backside. Watch him standing here. Look at this guy. He's going to come all the way around and loop and have a clean shot on him. And watch him just standing there. Guy barreling down on him, but he knows he has OZ on the win and stands in there and completes his football. And this is what respect is about when his team turns on the tape and they see a guy standing in here, completing the ball for his teammates. That's toughness. That's something you cannot put in a stat sheet. And this is why he is excelling inside this offense. Hey, I'm DJ Shockley. This is Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. Now, one thing that will also never show up on the stat sheet is intelligence. Now, before this play got going, Mariota walked up and he puts his hand on his head. He goes like this. He goes can-can, which means he's audible. He's changing the play. That means he's putting his offense in a better position to be successful. And because he does that, the reason why he's doing this usually is because you want to run away from somebody. This is the safety. Now, something tells Mariota, we don't want to run to this side. So he runs away from the safety. He Audibles to his entire team says can can and now they're gonna run right and watch what happened because he recognized that the defense was doing something else and he changed the play and ultimately it ends up in a touchdown. This is an unbelievable call that won't stop on the stat, shot, stat sheet again, but he still changed the play, audibly got him into a better play, ultimately ended up in a touchdown for the Falcons. All right, here's what Marcus does, what makes his offense so special and why defenses are having fits with this offense right now because his ability to be able to use his leg. Now, this was third and 13, and it was right before halftime. Now, if you don't pick up this first down, 49ers get the ball, there's a chance they go back and they go score, but because his ability to use his legs creates this huge play. But up front, they go zone blitz. So they got eyes going back here. They got, still got eyes on the quarterback, but they're also bringing pressure, and they actually are going to get home. Most quarterbacks, this may be a sack, but for Mariota, watch him climb in the pocket, understands here comes pressure, here comes pressure. Good job of reaching out by your back, picking up this outside guy, but look how deep these routes are. They haven't even turned around yet because they're still trying to get to 13 yards to get to the first down mark. Mariota knows this, but he also knows there is nobody in the middle of the field for him if he takes off. Uses the pocket, climbs up, and now look at all this run room he has now. Now, third to 13 turns into a first down, picking up 17 yards on first down. Watch it again from the backside. Watch him, watch him just use his feet to move inside his pocket. There's so much stuff going on. This guy is a free runner. This guy is a free runner. But watch him use his legs to be able to create some more separation still with his eyes. Look at his eyes. His head is still downfield looking to throw the football 
but now he has to escape the pocket. Now he owns, ends up going for 17 yards. Big first down play, and that play ended up being a touchdown drive for the Falcons because of the big run by Marcus Mariota. We talked about his toughness. We talking about using his legs. Let's talk about the improv that also never comes up on the stat sheet, but always works out for the Falcons when he uses it. This is a particular play where he's going to end up hitting Parker Hesse out of the backfield. Now he wants to, he can probably throw this if he wants. He could probably hit Cordell Patterson on this one, but he's actually reading this side of the field, and now he wants to look this way, but by the time he gets back over here, it's a little bit too late. But watch the improv here. He doesn't like it. He doesn't really panic. Now he starts to escape the pocket. Right now, he's thinking run. Look, his eyes aren't even downfield. He's thinking run. He's thinking, let's get to this first, let's get to this marker over here. Let's get out of bounds. But he continues to look downfield. That's what most quarterbacks don't do when they get outside the pocket is continue to be a passer. He gets outside right here at the very last moment, finds Parker Hesse out here and completes a big time throw here. And now you got another big time play because he wants to, because he begins to improvise. Watch it again from the way that Marcus Mario sees. He's gonna work to his right side, nothing there. Improv, get outside. But now it looks like he's running, right? But his eyes are still downfield, just in case somebody uncovers. Somebody uncovers at the last moment, throws an accurate ball, big time play, Parker Hesse, drive continues. Sometimes your quarterback is just better than the other team. Now this is the prototypical zone read here. He has a chance to pull it, he has a chance to hand it off, or he has the chance to run it. On this particular play, 49ers actually cover this. They have guys on the inside for the dive, and this guy on the outside who's the defensive back who's just as fast as the quarterback. But sometimes your player is just better than his, and Mariota has the confidence in knowing that if I don't hand this off, I have to beat him to the corner, and he absolutely does. It's a nice job of riding it all the way in there. Because he rides it just a half a second, Watch this guy step in just for one step. That one step gives him a corner and allows him to get to the edge. Boom. See, that first step there. Look at his false step. He is flat-footed now while Mariota is already on a pursuit to run, and now he outruns him, and it's just an ideal play you like from a quarterback that you can use down in the red zone. Watch it again from his backside and show you exactly what I'm talking about with his guys. Now he's flat-footed. Flat-footed, he's beat. You got a guy who can get around the corner. This is exactly what Mariota does. His toughness, athleticism, and attention to detail, being able to improv is so big for a quarterback that will never show up on the stat sheet. But this is why Marcus Mariota continues to be the guy for this offense. I'm DJ Shockley. This has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. We appreciate you watching.